Hey, my name is James Douglason, and in this video, I want to tell you, does SEO really work? Does it still work? And firstly, what is SEO? But before we jump into that, can you do me a big favor? Smash the like button on this video. I make new content every day on scaling, growing, and marketing a business. So you're also going to want to subscribe and hit the bell and check out the other videos on my channel. Now, I've been in business 17 years now, and I've learned along the way the importance of SEO. Now, I'm a big advocate right now of things like Facebook ads, Google ads, YouTube ads, but I'm also a big advocate of having multiple ways to get customers. You see, one of those channels might change. Maybe you build a massive uh, following on Instagram, for example, and then that becomes less popular. We've seen that with business pages on Facebook when they first started out. If you had 100 people that like your page and you posted some content, then people would see that content. Now, barely anyone sees it unless you advertise. You also can get shut down on platforms as well. So it's important that you have a mixture. Now, SEO is all about where you're ranking on page one of Google or YouTube. They're both the same company and they're the two biggest search engines in the world. I mean, if you go and look for something, that's where you go, Google or you go to YouTube. You don't normally go to Facebook or Instagram to find stuff. And so what's important to understand is the quality of the traffic on Google and YouTube is very, very high. The buyer intent is more likely to be there because they are looking for someone with a product or service and they're not looking to browse. They're saying, hey, look, I wanna get a chiropractor. I wanna get a bad back fix or something like that. And so SEO is very, very important that you get there because the other option is to pay. And Google advertising has got very, very expensive over the last few years. Now, what's important to understand is that you make relevant pages on your site related to what people actually search for. So you have to do some brainstorming. And one of the best ways to do that is check out the recent video I just posted, the one before this one, so check out my channel. And I made a video on how you can find keywords that people search for, but I'll give you a quick overview here, right? And so what people do is you, you, you need to brainstorm some keywords, right? So maybe you should think about what would someone searching for you look for, right? What would someone searching for you look for? And ask friends, family members, what would they search for if they were looking for a product or service? Now, a lot of people don't realize that people might search for things like how to fix back pain, how to stop my back hurting, rather than massage therapist or chiropractor, right? And so you've got to put those sorts of things in the mix as well. So I teach people marketing. So some people might put marketing course or marketing training into Google, but also they might search for how to get more leads, how to get more customers, how to get more followers on Instagram, how to get more followers on Facebook. And so I need to brainstorm and get a load of keywords around that sort of topic as well. I hope that makes sense, guys. Any questions, do comment below and I'll come back to you guys on all of that, of course. And so do think about what do people search for when looking for a product or service like yours? That's really, really important. And then start typing that into Google, right? So if you wanna be a marketing expert, so start typing in how to get more customers. And you'll see Google's trying to predict what you're going to type, right? You've seen that. And then have a look at what suggestions it's got. And that's the content that you want to make because that's what people are searching for. So if I put in how to get more customers, I will see things like how to get more customers for my doctor surgery, how to get more customers for my dental practice. And I know that then I should be making content around those topics because that is what's being searched for. Now, what we used to do is make that content and then we would spam loads of keywords in the page and hope that Google found us because of that. And then what we would do is get loads of spammy links from external sites, right? So we would do something called link building. This day and age, you don't really need to do link building because Google knows that you're trying to manipulate it when you do that. You'll get some good quality links if you just have good content out there anyway. But you can link 
from things like your social media. So you could put a blog post out and you could post it on your Google or your, sorry, on your Facebook or your LinkedIn or any other platforms that you've got. Even Instagram in the stories, you can put a swipe up to go to visit that, right? And that is gonna get you traffic. That's really, really important to understand. We're trying to drive traffic to that business. And then when Google sees traffic, they see people engaging with that content, they'll start ranking it up higher on the search results. So in summary, does SEO still work? 100% is actually one of the best strategies out there. It's slow, it takes time. If you put an article out there, it could rank in weeks, it could rank in months. You can't really control how quickly that's gonna happen. But when it does rank, you're going to get floods of free traffic for free. If you wanna see how this works, if you go to Google and type in bounce back loan rejected, that's a post that we created because I help business owners. And in the pandemic, I knew everyone wanted to get a bounce back loan. Tons of people got declined for them. So I made a post on what to do if you get declined or rejected on your bounce back loan. If you look in Google, you'll see I'm on that front page. And that sold me thousands of copies of my book, which was pretty good, and got me thousands of leads into my business as well, some of which have become customers. In fact, lots of them have become customers since. And that's because I made content with what my avatar, my customer audience was looking for. So that's what I want you to think about. So should you be doing SEO in 2022? Yes. Should you be building links? No. Should you be making content that people are searching for? That's the secret here, guys. So the secret is type into Google what you think they're searching. Google will start predicting and that's the content that you're going to make. But I've made more videos on this, so do go and check those out on this channel and hopefully that will help you with your SEO journey. Get going with your SEO because it's an absolute game changer when you get it working. I'm James Nicholson, and if you want a copy of that book, Expert Mastery, this lays out my business uh, accelerator methodology. I'm gonna give you a link where you can grab a free copy of that in the description. So go and do that now, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.